professional business coaching has exploded over the last couple of decades. There are a lot of different styles of coaching and a lot of people out there promoting themselves as business coaches. But what should you as a business owner expect from a business coach? Everybody has a different idea of what a coach does and what you can get out of of the coaching relationship. But here are five of the things from my point of view that you should expect from working with a good business coach. First of all is accountability. A lot of business owners don't have anyone that holds them accountable for the things that they want to get done. The freedom of being your own boss is a great thing and everybody wants the freedom. But there's a reason why the top golfers, the top tennis players in the world all have coaches. And part of that reason is that a coach helps them perform at a higher level than they might otherwise be able to go on their own. Someone outside yourself typically is going to help you achieve more and do more than you might on your own. Secondly is methodology, a proven way that the coach has worked with other clients just like you to get them from where they are today to where they ultimately see success. So do they have a methodology that is repeatable, that is predictable and has worked for others? The third thing is behavior change. This is based on the idea that for things to change first, I must change. That's what Gandhi said. But let me put it this way. If the owner wants a better business, first the business needs a better owner. For your business to change, you have to change first. So that is really about developing new and better habits and organizing yourself so you get a different outcome. Think about it this way. If you're getting all the results you want, then that's fantastic, great. If you're not getting the results you want or something is missing from your business or your life, then by definition, something about your behavior has to change, something about how you use your time has to change. So we'll work together to figure out what is working for you and what not, might not be working for you and how to transition into that new behavior. The fourth thing is efficiency. This is sort of standing on the shoulders of those that have gone before you. Experience is a great teacher, but experience is expensive and it takes time. If you want to speed up the learning process and avoid some of the common mistakes and pitfalls, then working with an experienced business coach gives you the opportunity to do that, to leap ahead of some things that you might learn on your own, but that could take you five years, whereas you might get there in a year working with a business coach. And then the fifth and final thing is measurement. Working with a coach has to produce a return. That's the only reason you'd want to do it, and the only way we're going to measure that return as if we have a way that we've agreed on, that we're going to measure results. So what are your current results? What are the results that you'd like to achieve? So the five things in summary then are accountability, methodology, behavior change, efficiency, and measurement. The five things you should be looking for when you're evaluating a relationship with a business coach. If you have any questions on this, book a complimentary 15-minute call with me at timewithshane.com. In those 15 minutes, we'll find out if you're good to go on your own or if you could use some help. I'm Shane Spears of Summit Scale. See you next time.